Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today, cooking with Rach, we're gonna make resurrection rolls because it's Easter tomorrow, woo! So, grab your mom and dad or your sibling and... All that we're gonna use today are crescent rolls, marshmallows, and some cinnamon sugar, mmm. All right, so first, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350, and then while it preheats, we're gonna read a little bit of John 19 to kinda of get a feel for why we're actually doing this. So if you wanna open your Bibles, you can. I'm gonna be reading from John 19, verse 38. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who earlier had come to Jesus by night, came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds in weight. So they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had yet been laid. So because of the Jewish day of preparation, since the tomb was close at hand, they laid Jesus there. So after you've washed your hands, you can get out a pan and either use one of these baking sheets or get, grab some parchment paper and put it along the pan. And we're next gonna open our crescent rolls. So after you've opened this, we're gonna lay each piece on the pan and to tell our story, this is going to be like the clothes that the disciples wrapped Jesus in before they laid him in the tomb. Ooh. I'm just going to lay whoop, each piece out on the pan like that. Next, take your marshmallow. This is gonna represent Jesus. It's white and pure, just like Jesus was pure without sin. We're gonna dip it in some water. This symbolizes the oils that they used to prepare his body for death. And then, whoop, my oven's ready. <laughs> then we're gonna roll it in the cinnamon sugar mixture. This is like the spices that they used to prepare his body for burial as well. Next, we're gonna wrap the marshmallow in the crescent roll, starting from the big end. We're just gonna roll it up and pinching the sides as we go. Don't really care about what it looks like as long as the marshmallow is covered. We've just wrapped all the marshmallows in the crescent rolls to represent how Jesus was wrapped for burial, made ready to be buried in the tomb. And next, we're gonna put them in the oven. Now be sure to put your timer on for eight to 10 minutes. I put mine on for eight, we'll see how it goes. And grab your Bible with me and we're gonna read from John 20. So this is the story of Christ's resurrection. John 20 verses one through 18. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one who Jesus loved and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the face cloth, which had been on Jesus's head, not lined with the linen clothes, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and he believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to the woman, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you had carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. 
Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. And so we are making these resurrection rolls to signify that Christ rose from the tomb. He was buried, he was wrapped, he was embalmed with spices and oil, and he was laid in a tomb, wrapped in cloths, laid in a tomb. And yet when these disciples came on that third day, he was no longer there. He had risen from the dead. That is so such a powerful story. If you really think about it, that's what makes Easter and our lives and our faith in Jesus so powerful because our God can rise from the dead. He has power over death. All right, we've taken them out of the oven. We've let them cool for a while. And now let's look to see where that marshmallow went. What? It's gone. It's empty. The tomb is now empty. He has risen. He did not stay dead. He had the power over death. I hope you enjoyed making these with me or maybe just watching, but I hope you remember that Christ died, but he rose again to give us life. I hope you can celebrate that life today and tomorrow.